In this video I'm going to discuss the embedded web browser. Select configuration browser. This is the browser settings window. It is an embedded web browser so it doesn't launch the Internet Explorer or default browser. It's embedded inside of a window inside of the HMI. It does require Internet Explorer 4.0 or greater to be installed. This first section is the position of the window, same as the custom window settings that you might have defined. Same window width and height. You can use the launch browser button to see how and where the window is going to open and any of the other attributes. The URL can be any uh, URL that can go into Internet Explorer. It can browse the disk or it can open documents. Anything that can be done in Internet Explorer can be done with this URL. Open browser at runtime opens a browser window at runtime. If you have a custom window set to open, it will also open that window. Silent is to suppress some uh, dialogues that possibly appear in Internet Explorer. It won't suppress all of them. Quit runtime on browser close is a way to shut down runtime when the browser window is closed. We had a customer who wanted to open up to their website which had data for the user when the program launched and then they had buttons on that window that would open graphic windows in the HMI so it was a link back. The HMI parses all commands going out of the embedded web browser looking for commands to open windows. Uh, look in the help file for the format of of those HTTP HTML codes. Show address bar is a way to allow the user to enter a URL. This is the address bar. If it's not enabled, they won't be able to go anywhere that's not already defined on the screen. They won't be able to browse off of what's defined. User level is the user level required to open the browser window. Scripts on window open on window close um, are just that. They open uh, the script that executes on the window open and one that executes on the window closing. 